Well, hello, welcome back to another edition of Lucian Does Shit in Front of a Camera. Hi. <laughs> so I just figured if I'm gonna be doing this kind of thing uh, regularly. Regularly, it's taken you two fucking weeks to edit this, you can't. I wanted to introduce myself a little more thoroughly. I guess this video is mostly for my mom because she does call up pretty regularly asking what I'm doing. I never really have an answer that's good enough for her. So, I wanted to do a video uh, very much inspired by Garrett Watts. Uh, <laughs> so, without further ado, here are a couple of dumb facts about me. Obviously, obviously, someone, I mean, I'm sure someone is gonna give a shit. Mom. Hey, sweetie, just calling to say. So, starting us off with fact number one, I think I should talk about the first job that I had because I think that's very telling. So, I worked for a little chain in Australia that we have here. I'm not gonna, I guess, I probably shouldn't say the name. I don't know. Uh, anyway, a lot of people from my high school worked there. A lot of girls. I was the only guy. <laughs> Go figure. I looked like a fat little lesbian back then, so. Uh, not much has changed. Anyway, um. Like first day, 14 year old kid, that we've got people coming in, it's very busy. I didn't know how to make coffee, and they just put me on the machines making coffee, and I was like, I don't know how to do this, but <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people got really terrible coffee, and I don't think my skills have improved too much since then. My whole time working, my whole tenure, but of like four months, I think it was, I couldn't stand it any longer. People were just fucking awful. That basically ruined my perception of working, that I quit, because I quit without any kind of notice. I, I wrote like a little resignation, I had it in my back pocket, and as I was walking to work that day, I just kept thinking how stupid it was. It was like a little piece of paper with like one line. I didn't know what to do and I didn't ask my parents because I knew that they would say, Lucian! You stay at this job because you need the fucking money. Probably wouldn't say it like that. I walked in, I was about to reach for the note, and I stopped myself and I just said, Bye. Bye, Felicia. That was basically it, and I left. I still think about that. Wow! Fact number two my favorite food in the world, still to this day, is ice cream. Take a big dip, a big dip. I can sit down and eat a whole tub of ice cream. It doesn't matter what it is. I have, actually, you know what? I have really terrible taste in food. It doesn't matter what it is. I will sit there and eat a whole tub, which is bad. For my for my 18th birthday, my best friend, I think she got me just like two, two tubs of ice cream. And I was happy. That was it. That was good. Fact number three. I am obs obs obsessed to the point where it's kind of sad with Harry Potter. Or worse, expelled. I read all the books, I watched all the movies, I played all the video games, I went to all the midnight premieres in costume. Now, I know what you're thinking. A lot of people say this, yes, but do those people run around the forest, forest, bush, finding a stick, making a wand out of it. I, br I bought like wood chippers with files with me to make a wand and then go on an expedition with the wand, pretending I was a wizard in the middle of the I still do that. I have a wand, if you want to see it. I have a big collection at home I didn't bring with me, but this is uh, Remus Lupin's wand, because I like him a lot. <laughs> Fact number four, maybe. I was a weird kid without too many friends. A little bit odd. The best escape for me was video games. I love playing video games. I recently just played Resident Evil and it scared the shit out of me. Nope, 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 nope. It was so good. There you go. God damn, it's fucking hot. On with the facts. I don't even know what we're up to. It's five. Uh, so the next two facts are gonna be kind of a favorite. So my favorite author of all time is Haruki Murakami. Um, I'm going to read uh, the story. That man is a genius. I go through periods where I almost exclusively just read his stuff. I have, I have all these books somewhere. I implore anyone out there who is looking for a really good book, go out and pick up yourself a copy of Kafka on the Shore or Underbird Chronicle. Equal first, in my opinion. All of them are great, but they're the best. My favorite band by far is Circus Survive. X marks the 
Oh my god. So, Circus so Survive have been a big part of my life since I was like an angsty teen. Well, angsty, like youth. And they kind of carried on into adulthood. But when I was a kid, angry at everything, as kids are, they were great. <laughs> Anthony Green got me through a lot of really hard times. It's not real hard times, just hard times for a kid. You know what I mean? I thought I was so hard done by, and Anthony was always there to tell me that it was okay. I love the music. So much so that I got. I just want to get to a point in my life when Anthony Green looks at me with the same admiration that he looks at Willy Yev. By the way, Anthony, if you're watching the show, let's grab a beer sometime. <laughs> uh, next fact. Uh, I have broken a lot of bones in my body. I did martial arts for uh, a number of years. I think I broke all my fingers and all my toes, so I'm definitely going to have arthritis when I grow up. Hi. Today we're here to learn how to inject Arancia. Yay to that. I broke my elbow, I broke my wrist when I was a kid. I was on the roof of my cubby house, I love climbing things. And the next door neighbor's kid, who was a little fucking shit. I still have a lot of anger about this. He told me to close my eyes. I like to think I was trusting. Yeah, let's go with that, I like trusting. I walked to the side and you got a big surprise. The sweet little adorable kid that I was, I did it. Um, and I fell and I broke my wrist pretty bad. They rushed me to the doctor and the doctors were like, we well, can't do shit. So they took me to the hospital and I was crying. The next thing I remember is waking up with a cast and there was money underneath. So I think I won in that situation. So that kid, you fuck yourself. So yeah. That's it. That's a little bit more about me. Probably a little bit more than you wanted to know or needed to know. Thank you very much for watching. If you watched, uh, go ahead and uh, hit that like button if you liked it. That seems like a really strange thing to say, doesn't it? I will see you next time. Uh, cheers.